Last year at ASCO was hugely exciting because we saw the first presentations of the anti-PD-1 and anti-PD-L1 drugs as monotherapy, but of course that's now moving to combination doublet and even triplet strategies. So we're not just talking about chemotherapy and immunotherapy or immunotherapy alone, we're actually talking about immunotherapy and immunotherapy. So the two presentations I've just been to, which involved a mad rush across the conference centre because they're almost at the same time, were Bristol-Myers Squibb's study of nivolumab and ipilimumab in small cell lung cancer in really a fair number of patients. That's 220 patients where there's no recognised second-line treatment option. And to my surprise, it was really quite well tolerated, which I thought was an unexpected finding. And there were two other points, which was that the responses, the response rate were reasonable and the responses seemed durable. So they're now going to put that combination into phase three studies. So small cell lung cancer is, you know, a horrible disease. People are very congratulatory at first because it's chemosensitive, but then we know it recurs with what I can only describe as a wrath. And um, this provides a totally new, different way of treating it. And then I went to Roche's presentation of their OX40 agonist and atelizumab, their anti pdl one So that's really on the subject of trying to make cold tumours hot, trying to make unimmunogenic tumours responsive to immunotherapy. So you have an agonist, an immune stimulant, and the PDL1, which inhibits the inhibition, and together, and again, we saw some durable responses across a range of tumor types. So again, we're talking about some very impressive developments where perhaps we don't need chemotherapy in 20 to 30 years time, and we'll be just talking about immunotherapy combinations.